What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here just welcome. My name is Gemma Jade but today we have our July under $15 budget home and beauty video and I've got a really good one for you all today. So just keep in mind I keep the makeup portion of this video at the end. It is not a makeup video. It is a huge difference from what I normally do dealing in paranormal and true crime. Some of you really like it, some of you absolutely hate it and feel the need to let me know all the time, and some of you couldn't care one way or the other. So either way, whatever you do, let's just jump right in and get started. So the first thing I have for you today is something I'm kind of embarrassed to say how much money I spent on it, guys, because normally I wouldn't. But there was this commercial that had like a cup full of water and the water had all ashes in it. And they put a drop of this toothpaste in and stirred it up and everything became really white. And I was really impressed by that because I'm like, I want super white teeth. So there's a couple things I really like about it. And there's a couple things that I'm like, meh. So I paid about $12 on Amazon for this. It's called J Suing Stain Removal Whitening Toothpaste. Five times powerful whitening effect now the one thing that's really weird threw me off and grossed me out is that it is blueberry flavored blueberry flavored toothpaste i don't know so i've used it a few times and i'm not going to show you all my teeth <laughs> but i've used it a few times and when i first used it i was like this is kind of a gimmick i'm kind of pissed off i spent you know six times the amount i normally would on toothpaste to try this out but actually, since I've been using it two, sometimes three times a day for the past four or five days, I do notice that my teeth are remarkably getting whiter. So um, that's why I decided to recommend this to you all. It's on Amazon, J Suing. They also have a purple one, but the purple one, for some reason, um, I think it's just a different flavor. And it's like $16. And I wasn't going to pay $16 for a toothpaste. I draw the line at 12 or 12 and change, whatever this was. So it's a cute, it's a pump, which is going to be annoying at the end because once you run out, there's still more in there, but you can't get it out. That's why I hate pumps. But again, I really wanted whiter teeth. So there you go. Do not tell Ray I spent that much money on this. Okay. So next we have Jergens Extra Moisturizing Hand Wash Cleans and Moisturizes in Cherry Almond Scent and a Pump. But it's not lotion guys it's hand soap and it doesn't say it's antibacterial or anything like that and i know with covid and everything everyone's everything's antibacterial antibacterial but this just has the softest feel it's like velvet honestly like even when you just put it on your hands and any of you know that cherry almond jergens lotion scent that one-of-a-kind smell that i just absolutely love i found it in a hand soap that i got at the dollar store for a dollar and my hands feel really smooth and silky after I use it too. So I usually use this like after washing dishes or something like that. You know, when I want to use something antibacterial, I do. But when it's just for like a quick wash after, you know, cooking something or something like that, you know, this is great because it doesn't dry my hands out. And if my hands get dried out from washing dishes, I use some of this and it, moist it puts the moisture right back in them. So definitely, definitely, definitely recommend for a dollar. Can't beat it. It's Jergens. So next I have something I am so excited about. So excited. I put this stuff on at 6.30 last night after I showered. And I still smelled it super strong. And my skin was still silky smooth when I woke up at 6.30 this morning. No BS, guys. And the smell. Coconut coffee body cream. And it says... Help soften your skin with this invigorating and moisturizing blend infused with exotic Arabica coffee and coconut oil. Boost hydration while promoting supple skin. Perk up your senses with the scent of fresh coffee you can enjoy anytime. And it's OGX, Beauty Pure and Simple. So guys, this is, I say it every time I do a new lotion, right? Because I get so excited about the scent. But it kind of smells like when I went to... Orlando to Universal with my parents three years ago and I would get up every morning and put on my sunblock and then go get my Starbucks it literally smells like coconuts and coffee it's so good you guys want to smell it smell it smell it <laughs> smells so good I I'm in love with it I want to buy the body wash 
the shampoo and conditioner but here's the thing they don't make a spray and bath and body works did the same thing with their tahiti sweetie line they did everything but a spray they did lotions and creams and all this stuff body scrubs but no spray on i would love to spray this on it might be a little strong or like maybe turning it into a liquid might make it a different scent but i'm telling you my skin is still super super soft i wish you guys could feel it definitely definitely recommend and this was $11.99 on Amazon. So I'm going to go ahead and do my do not recommend for the month now because after this, it's just going to be makeup. I have more makeup items than I expected this month, but I did try some things out. And this is, I've always been interested in like organic and very clean dish soaps and laundry detergents. Um, there's something about the fact that I wash my dishes with it, what I eat off of, what my family eats off of, right, with dish soap. So normally my favorite is the Ajax and it's charcoal and I believe it's charcoal and citrus. It's blue. It's a blue Ajax. I was going to say it comes in a big bottle. It's really, really good. So I decided at three for $11.99, I was going to check out this and it's called Nine. Nine Elements. It's eucalyptus scent, vinegar power to clean grease and residues. And it has all this stuff on the back. Um, made without artificial preservative dyes, thickeners, or synthetic fragrances, which fragrances, which I really liked. The eucalyptus smell was so so good. But I got to tell you, I went through all three in like one month, and it's 16 ounces. 16 ounces, 473 milliliters. So guys, it's just not worth it for the money. It's like really pricey when Ajax cleans a lot better. If I get a thing of Ajax, that's like like this one and a half. So one and a half of these, it'll last me like two, two and a half months. And I do at least like three loads of dishes every single day. So the only reason I do not recommend like if they would make it cheaper, like if it was like, you know, a three pack for $8, I, I would go for it, but I don't recommend they have other scents. Um, but it's just not for me. And again, guys, I am not sponsored. So I don't put links in like the description and you guys don't, you know, I'm, it's not affiliate. I'm just, telling you guys what I like. I decided to do this one month in December because it was Christmas and I had gotten a whole bunch of cool stuff and I was excited about it. So yeah, no bueno. Okay, so the first makeup item that I brought is this Master Strobing Stick Illuminating Highlighter by Maybelline. And I got to admit, um, I was shocked at how small it was. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't realize how little it was going to be because I keep putting into Amazon highlighting wand. Because do you remember the, I believe it was NYX one that I had that I really liked that I just put on. I can't find a wand highlighter like that. I keep saying concealer. I don't know if concealer and highlighter are supposed to be the same thing. But to me, if it doesn't say highlighter, I'm not using it. I don't need concealer except for like the black stuff under my eyes, but whatever. It's very, very, very creamy. And I don't remember how much this is, so I'm going to put the price on the screen. It's very creamy. But I actually really do like it. It's a little harder to blend in than the powder that I've been using until I find that wand again. But I definitely recommend it. It was worth the price. It's light iridescent number 100 is the one that I have. So I have olive skin. I don't know if that this is even like working for me. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks good? I don't know. If, I feel like the cream makes my face look a little like shiny. Not like bright as it's supposed to. I feel like it looks shiny. You know what I'm saying? With the olive skin, with the, with the dark circles under my eyes, you know, I've got to do something. So I would recommend it. I don't know if I'm going to continue buying it. I'm going to continue to look for the dollar store one that I really liked and wish that I could just freaking find already. Also, I feel like this is more of a concealing illuminator, like iridescent concealer than it really is highlighter because highlighter usually, like I said, brightens me up a lot more than this. But um, I do like it. It was worth the shot of it. And I will use it until the very end. So that's Master Strobing Stick by Face Studio, Maybelline, New York. Okay, so I remember doing the ELF Putty Primer, just the regular one on my face. And then I tried the Illuminous one. And I told you guys I really liked it because it gave me kind of like a little bit of a glow underneath my makeup. And today I tried Matte's Putty Primer because I want to try all of them. Um, this is the first time I've used it. So as you can see, I only use a tiny little bit. Um, something is bugging me about my makeup today. And I think it's this. I don't know 
if this is right for me, um, a matte putty primer. I'm going to continue using this and the highlighting stick and let you guys know next month quickly, not like a whole review, but just let you know quickly um, if they're working for me. I've only been using them for like two or three days. And this one is the first time I used it today because I still have some of this left. I really liked the Luminous. Um, the regular one was really good too, just the Putty Pore Primer. But I've got to say, so far, the Luminous is my favorite. But I will let you guys know how the matte does. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you guys, and don't laugh, my eyebrows are jacked a lot of the time because I don't know how to draw them in, and I have really thin eyebrows, and I like thick eyebrows. So I've been using this tiny little stencil. It's by Wet n Wild, which, by the way, I can't find them anymore. But it's got a little crease, a little break in it, and like, I, it's very hard to use, but it does, I do like the shape of it. I was using this one, which is bigger, and it gives me a bigger eyebrow, a thicker eyebrow, which I like. But it broke down here, so now it just like does this when I'm trying to put my eyebrows on, which is never a good thing, right? So I found this thing, you guys are going to crack up, I already know it. I found this thing where, I'll, I'll just show you, I don't even know how to explain it. And it's crazy because the first night I used it Wednesday night, it worked so good for me. I absolutely loved it. I was like, yes, I finally found something that's going to help me with my eyebrows and it's going to be really great. But it ended up, I don't know, like, again, I'm going to have to like use this a few more times. I've used it like three times already. The first two times it worked great. And today when I'm filming, not so much. I don't know what that's all about, but it came in this bag and it's called cosmetic accessories, I guess. And... <laughs> You guys are gonna okay, so it's all these different eyebrow shapes. See, this one I really like, like it's a really big one. I want a big, thick eyebrow, right? So you pop it on here like that, and you put it like this. It's a little uneven, I noticed too. Like, you can't put it like <laughs> you put it like this, right? And then you're supposed to. The idea is that you're just able to just color in your eyebrows, but look at that. It's like all low and stuff. So you really have to kind of line it up. <coughs> Excuse me. And like I said, the first night it worked beautifully. If you look at Wednesday night stream and last night it worked really great too. So I really don't know if it's working for me or not, but it was worth a try. It came with this little thing, I guess, to put around your head, but here's the thing with that. It doesn't fit in the holes for it. This little thing doesn't, so I don't know. I'll put how much it was on the screen and let you guys know. Um, for this and the other stuff, um, I guess the jury's still out, I suppose. But um, I, I really hope that it works because I'm, I'm super excited about being able to finally have some nice looking eyebrows. I always feel like my eyebrows look crazy. Okay guys, and the last thing that I have for you today are honeycomb high-waisted stretchy yoga pants and my room is a mess. So what I'm going to do is stand on the chair and show you all what I'm talking about. They were $11.99 on Amazon, but the thing is this, I found them for $18.99, I found them for $16.99, I found them for $24.99 and they're all the exact same pant but by a different brand. So these ones were $11.99. I love them, love them, love them. I want to get them in all different colors. I want to get like five pairs in black. They are so incredibly comfortable. I don't want to take them off. So I'm going to stand on my chair and show them to y'all. Can you guys see that? How cool they look? The honeycomb thing, um, stitching, I guess you would call it. I don't know. I really, really like it. So that's all I have for you today, guys. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have used or are going to use any of this stuff. And if you use anything that I recommended today, please let me know. I really enjoy talking to you guys about this stuff, discussing this stuff. I don't have people to discuss makeup with. A lot of the women in my family, at least the ones that I hang out with, really don't wear makeup. And I'm kind of still finding my way at my age um, with makeup. So let me know what you all think. As always, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed hanging out with me, spending this time with me, and I really would appreciate it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I post a video, right? Spread the love. Share this video if you know anyone who is just as inexperienced and crazy when it comes to makeup and household items as I am. I hope this was informative and fun because that's my goal with these videos 
it's a break for me and a break from the heavy for all of you too with everything that I cover on a daily basis, everything that Steve and I cover. If you have any experiences or encounters with the supernatural and or paranormal, you want me to retell and recount for you on my listener encounter series, which I'm already on like volume six and I just started like a month and a half ago, guys. That's how many I've got coming in. I appreciate you guys so much. Please email them to gemmajadeparanormal at gmail.com and I will put you in a future video of listener encounters. I would really, really appreciate that. As always, important links in the description box to all three live streams that I do every week. Sunday night's fireside chat from 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern time with Steve Stockton on Missing Persons and Mysteries. Wednesday nights, it's on this channel now, guys. It's not a talk show with myself and Steve Stockton. Stemma in the house. We talk about this, that, the other things and stuff. Stuff and things. Come on to this channel, Gemma Jade, from 8 to 9 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday nights. And on Friday nights, we have Campfire Stories with, again, Steve Stockton and I on Missing Persons and Mysteries channel from 7 to 8 p.m. You'll find those links in the description box along with Justice for Caleb Smith. It's the two-hour live interview on Missing Persons and Mysteries with April Arrington, Caleb Smith's mother. If you're unfamiliar with the case, just look it up. It's everywhere. We're going to get it more places. We want to get her a billboard. We want to get her lawyers. We want to get her a private investigator. We want to know what happened to Caleb, and we want April to have to stop investigating her own child's death justice for Caleb Smith. Always be kind to each other, guys. Always choose kind. Be kind to yourselves as well. It costs nothing to be a nice person, right? Smile at a stranger. Have your best day. Have your best night. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.